Hey Dazzlers, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are safe and doing well. In today's video, I show you how I made a really beautiful Z Gallery inspired wall mirror using inexpensive items, some of which came from Dollar Tree. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. I'm starting off with this 20 by 12 inch beveled mirror that I picked up from Michaels. I removed the black tabs from the back of the mirror and then I used a strong adhesive to attach Dollar Tree wood pieces along the outside perimeter of my mirror. The wood pieces aren't a perfect fit so I did have some small spaces on each side of the mirror but that's okay. Two hours later, I flipped my mirror over and I added additional wood pieces using some wood glue that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Here's how I arranged my wood pieces on my 12 inch side. I'm including step by step how I laid down each of the wood pieces for those that may be interested in recreating this design. If you're not interested in seeing these steps, please feel free to fast forward the video. I wiped away the excess wood glue, but you could also wait until the glue dries and then use a sanding sponge to sand down the dry wood glue instead. As always, I used a warm hair dryer to help speed up the drying process and then I repeated that same design on the other 12 inch side of my mirror. I then created a similar design on my 20 inch sides as well. As you can see, on this side, my wood pieces were not a perfect fit. So I'm using my miter box that I picked up from Joann's for around $10 with a coupon some time ago. I'll use this tool to cut one of the wood pieces to size.
I added that same pattern to my other 20 inch side and once my wood glue was dry I gave my design one coat of black acrylic paint that I already had at home. Here's what the base design looked like. Of course the wood pieces can be stained or painted a different color to match your personal style. To better suit my style, I've decided to cover my design with silver metallic spray paint and other materials that I had left over from previous projects. I usually create as I go, so I painted my wood pieces black before I decided on my final design. That said, if you'll cover most of the wood pieces up like I do in the end, you don't have to do that step. Do you guys remember these Greek key acrylic mirrors that I ordered from Amazon? I used them for my thrift store cabinet makeover and I think they'll be perfect for this project. These acrylic pieces are self-adhesive so it was really easy to add them to my design to give it a more mirrored look. I'm also adding small mirrored tiles that I had left over from my mosaic wall art project to my design as well. I'll leave a link to these mirrored tiles as well as the other materials used for this project down in the description box. Adding the mirror tiles definitely adds weight to this wall mirror. So instead of using my usual Velcro command strips, I'm hanging my design with these sawtooth hangers that I picked up from Walmart. To complete the project, I cleaned my mirror, removed the film from my acrylic mirror pieces, and here's the finished look. I think that this wall mirror turned out beautiful, but what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Remember, I upload new videos every single week. So until next time, Dazzlers, bye.